Hello once again, everyone. Vanguard of Valor here. Welcome back aboard the VSS Plague, which is populated by the most foul diseases yet discovered. Cholera, Ebola, Leprosy, and Emma. <laughs> anyway, we are making our way through space quite nicely here in the modified Class 2 of the Federation Cruiser. This is Sector 4 of 8, so we're making our progress pretty quickly. This is our first view of the star map. We have two distress beacons right in our face, so we're going to go see what's up. Hello there, distress beacons. What can we do for you? What can the plague do for you? We arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. We can shoot at the rocks, or we can just shoot at the pirates. Both of them have possible negative and possible positive repercussions, so we're going to shoot the pirates. I mean, shoot the rocks around the pirates. But bow, bow We take a few careful shots, but we expose a mineral patch in the rock that reacts violently with your weapon. I don't know what that might have been. A shockwave forces you back as debris pelts against your hull. When we regain control, there's not much left of their ship. 17 scrap earned. Well, I'll take it. Better than nothing. We're gonna jump to this distress beacon and see what they have to offer, and then we might jump over to that store. Hello, everyone. Our ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off the distress call. Shall we investigate? It could be dangerous. Now, this kind of thing. Ooh, this kind of thing. This is dangerous business here. If we search the ship, it might have something that'll kill us. But it might have goods. We're gonna search it and really hope we don't get unlucky. Let's search. Ooh, we find the decaying remains of some kind of ship coated with ice or crystal. We send some crew aboard to explore. Nearly everything is either destroyed or unidentifiable, but one of the weapons appears salvageable, and there's a strange stasis pod that catches your eye. Fantastic. It looks like a massive asteroid is in a direct collision course with the derelict ship! You have to pull your crew out, but they want to grab what they can first. What do they take? The weapon and a spare scrap, or the stasis chamber? Well, we're going to take that stasis chamber, because that is part of the most convoluted chain of events in this game. Your crew drags the pod back to your ship before the asteroid smashes into the ship, shattering through the crystal coating and destroying it entirely. The pod appears to be functioning, but you see nothing but shards of crystal inside. Perhaps someone else will know how to open it. 22 scrap and a damaged stasis pod. But now, bow, so that goes into our augments, but does not do anything. What it will do later on is much different. If we can find the right random event, something pretty darn cool is going to go down. And hopefully it'll happen for real this time, because last time I got it to happen, it did not go the whole way, and that sucked. So we're going to jump here, 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 probably there, 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 there. We'll see how long that takes, but we're going to try it. Because we want to go to that store to sell our anti-personnel drone, possibly buy some more good stuff. Ooh, that's a really good gift. As you arrive in the system, you are hailed by a loyalist settlement. Upon learning of your quest, they offer you supplies. Two fuel, two missiles, and 30 scrap. Not bad. Not bad at all. And let's hop into the store, and then we'll get to another distress beacon next. Hello there, shop. What have you got for us? The NG can do remarkable things, which is a pile of scrap. The NG hive at this beacon are selling equipment. Show just that. They want to sell us a fire beam. That sounds cool, but we don't have the things to use it. We could buy Hector, an engineer, actually, here. That could be nice. We're going to sell our 30 scrap anti-personnel drone. Hmm. Repair those damages. You know, that might actually be really good to have someone on board who can fix damage. But I'm not convinced it's worth spending the money on at this point, because if I get a little bit more money, I can get three level shields, which is fantastic. So I think I'm going to hold off for now, despite the urge to buy that engineer. Because that other option is just so nice. So I think we're going to go hopefully we'll do one, two, three, and then out. I, don't, looks like, I was hoping I'd be able to just go straight there, but that does not look to be the case. Let's hop over this way and see what they have to offer. This was the site of a recent battle, either a show of Mantis Force, or the NG here wasn't disposed to go peacefully. You pick through the pieces, find some fuels, some drone parts, and 37 scrap. They are just throwing money at us now. And that's how this game goes. We can buy our next shield bar now. 100 for the next shields, and 60 more for the power bars. And... Shazam! We are now much more resilient to damage. Which is always good. So, we only have two money left, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. No. I have a feeling that if I go here, I won't be able to get out easily. I'll have to come back to this spot, and then I'm not going to have much time left. Wasting jumps is always the worst, but there is a distress beacon here, so I have to fight the urge. Ooh, we arrive at a smoldering NG wreckage, sta <laughs> wreckage station. Research station. It's distress call unanswered, attacked by pirates or mantis, most likely. There may be someone left alive, or something else of value left on board. Now, we have a blue option here. I may not have mentioned this earlier, but blue options always take them. They are almost always better than anything else you can do. They will very rarely give you any kind of negative result. 
So we can board the station, we can ignore it, or we can run another scan. Let's look closer. Scans reveal the sector's reactor is overloading. Not only that, but there's an injured NG and a functioning drone schematic are still on board. There's not time for both. Well, <laughs> good thing I didn't waste any money on that engineer, because we're saving him now. Your team heads, your away team heads straight for the engine and returns with time to spare. You put some distance on the station before it blows. The engine is so impressed by your crew that they volunteer to join you. 22 scrap and an engineer, Marcus. Another person who absolutely does not fit in the continuity of our naming scheme. But you know what? That's okay, Marcus. We still have col cholera, Ebola, and leprosy. Ebola, whatever, you know. You know what I mean. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, good thing I didn't spend 50 bucks on that guy because I just got a free one. I really wish you could rename your characters that you get once you're on board. Because then I could have things like the bubonic plague, or, I don't know, diphtheria. <laughs> Something, some other kind of nasty diseases. Let's see, though. He's on board now. We have, we have a lot of good stuff going for us now. A lot of good stuff going for us. Let's, uh... Oh, good, I can get out of here pretty easy. Let's jump on ahead. Very nice. We find a Rebel Automated Scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. We can attempt to download the ship's data stores, or just try and strip it for useful of scrap. And you know what? Honestly, both of these seem a bit silly, because I've had them activate when I'm trying to strip them, and I've also had them activate when trying to download them. It doesn't seem to make a difference. Uh, the other thing about downloading the data stores is that data stores actually means, like, a pile of scrap, missiles, and fuel. So I don't know why you would ever not do this, unless you really don't want to fight some weak drone. Let's try it. We accidentally reactivate the ship's AI. Its weapons and shields immediately go online. Prepare for a fight. So we're going to auto-blast the heck out of that thing. We're also going to hit their weapons with our dual lasers. At least we're going to hope to hit the weapons. And they got a missile off, unfortunately. <coughs> Thankfully, it did no damage. Keep pummeling those suckers. Hit them in the weapons, please. Oh, holy cow! That's stronger than I expected. That was a big laser. Alright, I'm going to be right back in one second. Duh. Shouldn't take any time for you guys. Alright, so let's make this sucker regret attacking us. Here we go. He now only has his... R oh no, hang on, that was bad. Don't waste your dual lasers right now. We are going to smart bomb... The shields out? Yes. Hit those shields. Ion Blast should take out the rest of the shields. Hit those weapons before they can fire. Oh wow. A lot of spare damage there, I guess. Turn off the smart bomb. That room's on fire. Send the energy to deal with it. You're getting put to work right away, my friend. Hardly been here any time at all, and you're already putting out fires. Get back in the oxygen room, and the artillery beam does the job. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. One fuel, one drone part, and 40 scrap. Thank you very much, my friend. That's some good reward uh, right there. Now let's see what do we want. We're still really weak against boarding parties. Really weak. We have no strong fighters on this ship. We have we have a human and a slug who are decent. Two Zoltans and an Engie who both suck. Or all three suck. So I'm not sure entirely what we can do to make that any better, apart from buying really powerful doors. But that doesn't do much other than slow them down. If they teleport into an important room like our weapon room, we're still in trouble. But, you know what? That's something risk we're just going to have to take, I think. We can... Uh, I'm gonna hold on to a bit of more money and we'll see what we can do with it in a minute. 64 is still pretty low. So we might be able to get something good and save there that would help us out. I really doubt it though. I don't want to go there. We're trying to go 1, 2, 3 if we can. I don't really feel the need to go to the store at the moment. Oh, I don't want to sell you missiles. The black market here wants my missiles. Well, I can't have them. Too bad, suckers. I could still go to the store, but honestly, I don't know if it's worth it. I'm gonna try and not. Let's see what's over here. Hello? A mixed radar signal turns out to be a mantis attack ship scavenging the remains of an engine carrier. They turn and fight. You know what I was just saying about borders? Well, here's one. Thankfully, it's only one, so it should be really easy to kill him. Especially if he can't decide where he wants to go. Alright, they have two shields, pile of lasers, bombs. Let's uh, start ion blasting that. Yes, we can! They're... Oh, God, this is gonna hurt. They have a lot of weaponry. Um, we're gonna small bomb their weapons. Hopefully take out... No, they didn't take out their bombs. That's unfortunate. We're gonna keep 
that aim there. Yes, 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 yes. Nope, that was bad timing. He just cannot decide what he wants to do. He's going to suffocate in a second. Fantastic. That was the easiest Mantis I've ever killed. <laughs> Fantastic. Alright. Now we need to get those shields out of here. Hit them with another bomb. We should be able to actually kill this guy pretty easily. Although the uh, the artillery beam's going to go off soon, and that's going to really wreck my day. Small bomb, don't fire again. One more hit with the dual laser. We'll kill him, I believe. Or two more hits. Let's try... This is a really silly move. I'm going to try and turn off my artillery beam so I can kill him and leave his ship intact. Because if I can do that, I should be able to get better reward. Oh, he... I got him! Yes! There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful materials. Three fuel, one drone part, and 41 scrap. Now, that isn't guaranteed to be better. Like in this case, it didn't probably make much of a difference. But... Sometimes you can get really good stuff by killing all the people and leaving the ship intact. You can get whole weapons, all kinds of good stuff, so it's always worth trying to do. One of the great advantages about having the double radar is that you can do that intentionally. You can see, hang on, if I do this, I can get better stuff. So let's see now. I guess we can just jump to the exit. If we wait any longer, we're going to get overrun, and that's never fun. So hello there. You've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Well, thank you for that. A small merchant ship messages you. Underground Federation comm channels are all talking about your secret mission. Well, they're not very secret, then, is it? Let us install a weapon to help. Good luck. 21 scrap and a burst laser mark 1. Unfortunately, that's like the worst burst laser. Burst laser mark 2s are way better because they take 2 power and fire an extra laser. There's no extra power cost for more damage. They're just better. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be using this, because honestly, my dual lasers are just as good and only cost 1 power bar. But hey, you know what? We can sell it. It's not a waste. Now, this is a million points worth of power and energy to, to buy, but... It would be nice to have level 4 shields. Nothing can hurt you with level 4 shields on. Hmm, I will. Let's, uh, let's jump ahead and see what we can do. Welcome to Sector 5! We can go in I'm not going to Slug Nebula, so we're going to the energy controlled sector again. I guess we're taking the, uh, the friendly route, I guess. Yeah, we said a guess like four times in a minute, but that's okay. We are going to come down this way and see what we can do. It would have been nice to come up the aggressive route, because I think you get more people to kill there. But we seem to have gotten lots of nice, friendly giveaways, so I can't really complain. Do -do -do. We have arrived in energy space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times, as we've heard several times by now. So we're going to hope that they are not going to have any kind of magical recovery, and we can go through and help them out. Alright, we find a Rebel Automated Scout floating pristine, but appears to be deactivated. Well, we're going to try and download what it has, because it looks like it has very little. Unless these are assault drones, in which the case that would suck. Download the stores. Aha! We were able to pull all the ship's data about this sector. So we get the map data, we get two fuel, the drone part, and 22 scrap. Thank you kindly. Very nice, very nice. Not much I can complain about for that. Hmm, we have a store here with 148. That's not bad. Actually, 150 is the best, because then you can get a shield. A stealth machine, which is fantastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over here. We'll sell our laser if we do have a stealth system, because that would be so good. Your scrap, ours, our weapons for you. You're about to raise your shields when you realize it's just an NG trader looking for a trade. Oh, they have a crew teleporter and drone control, but they do not have the thing I want. All right, well, I'll fix the damage, and I will sell you my burst laser Mark One because that thing is garbage. And hopefully we'll be able to find our cloaking device at one of these other stores, if I can make it over there in time. So let's jump to this dress beacon. We're going to go a little bit faster this time, because I want to get all the way down to the bottom right, and then I still need to get up to the top left. You follow this dress beacon to a small asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. They message you, Help! Our shields are down, and I don't know how much longer we can last. Well, let's shield them! You try your best, but one stray rock hits a key structure in their ship. It breaks apart in front of your eyes. You salvage as you can before leaving, and try not to think about the lost crew. 25 scrap. That's probably one of the better outcomes, honestly. You get money, they all die, but you get their stuff. <laughs> kind of grim, but, you know, profitable nonetheless. This might be a really stupid I thing I'm doing right now, but I'm going to try anyway. You receive a distress call from a nearby NG ship. Assistance requested? Danger present. Imminent destruction? Respond to the call and move in to assist. Yes, I will. You receive another message from the ship, this time with a mantis at the comm log. Foolish meat sacks! He yells. Sensors indicate the ship is moving in to attack, and boarders teleport from the station. 
Wait, there's, they have no teleporter on them. I hate when that kind of thing happens. You teleported, but you don't have a way to teleport. So how did you teleport here? Is he going to attack? Yeah, he's going to attack in there. So I need to send my engineer in to help. And maybe even my slug in to help. Well, I'm not sure about that one. They have two defense drones. Thank goodness I don't have any bombs. They will not be getting through. We need to take out their weapons pronto. So I'm going to ion blast and dual laser their shields and send my small bomb in their weaponry. I'm going to send him in here, have him start fighting. He's going to get his butt kicked, but then he can go and hide in the med bay for a second anyway. So it shouldn't actually matter too much. Awesome! That set fire to the shields room. That could not have been more perfect. And we miss horribly on the uh, anti-weaponry attack. This is a deadly laser. Hopefully that doesn't hit us too hard. Get back in the health room. Heal up a little bit. He has to start attacking the door again from scratch, I believe. He might get a little bit of a help with it, but I'm not sure entirely how that works. And there goes the laser. Fantastic. Things are just going chaotic over there. What have we got going on now? Well, I think we can turn off our bomb successfully now that their shields are down. We're going to dual laser that. And their crew is honestly going to die in a second. Hang on. Before we do that... Uh-huh. Yes, we dual laser this. Now we can kill that mantis. Their oxygen is broken. Their people are on fire. Things aren't going well for them. My engineer is going to get out of there before he gets killed. Whew! It's a dangerous game we play here. Dual laser should be able to kill this mantis now. Thank you. And the artillery beam should finish them off. Problem solved. Wow. Ebola, you were so close to dying. I didn't even notice. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. A fuel, two missiles, and 42 scrap. You have one health left, don't you? You do. Woof. That was so lucky. <laughs> oh, man. That was blind luck right there. Blind luck. You heal up, Ebola. Let's not have that happen again. You even have a kill credit. That's crazy. You guys suck at fighting. Alright. Get back in those weapons. Okie dokie. That, uh, that could have been very bad. We have 225 energy right now. Or scrap. You can buy a lot of good stuff with that amount of scrap. The only reason I'm hesitant to actually do it now is because I want to still get over here and then try and make my way back quickly. I'm actually getting a bit worried I won't be able to make it back in time. Let's see what's over here, though. Oh, drone parts! Yay! You see a civilian space station with heavy damage. You receive a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. We'll buy some from you if you have extra. We sell six drone parts for 24 scrap. Thank you very much. Uh, Still don't need any of those. Let's jump to the store. Do you have a stealth device? That would be fantastic if you did. The NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG have this beacon or something could be just that. You still don't have any. Maybe these guys just don't sell them. Maybe engineers, NGs just don't sell teleporters. If that's the case, that's kind of disappointing. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna book it for the exit now. Hope they'll be able to get out of here in time. Let's see what we have over here. The area looks clear, and you prepare to jump off, but a mantis scout jumps in behind you. They're as surprised as you are, but their weapons are already online. And they're going to be boarding me in a second, too, aren't they? Yes, they are. They jumped into the poison room. All right. Um, now, while they're dealing with the fact that their oxygen is disappearing rapidly, we're going to try and take out their shields and smart bomb their weapons. They've got a big laser over here, a little laser and a bomb. Oh, hello. Get out of there, engineer. Let them suffocate more. They'll run away soon enough. Actually, might want to get over there, though, first. Hit them with the shields. Good, good. They were running away fast, weren't they? At least they haven't been able to damage most of my rooms. They did just hit my shields pretty hard. That's not good. Smart bomb the weapons again. Yeah, I think everything's good to just keep doing. Sink. Oh, I left that door closed, poop. No wonder they're not suffocating in there. Oh, there goes the laser anyway, so that's okay. Awesome, okay. So now we can turn off the smart bomb, I believe, because we have taken out their shields. Their helm is broken, their teleporter is broken, their oxygen is broken, and their weapons are broken. It's so easy to get overwhelmed at this point in the game. We're going to try and blast out their weapons now. We do not want them hitting us. We do want them, however, suffocating. Let's go. Hurry up and die. 
No, you can't get out of there. I didn't say you could get out of there. That's not part of the deal. You can get to wreck my artillery beam and then just leave. Okay, their weapons are completely offline now. Let's make their day suck. Did they teleport out? Or just one of them did. One of them did. That's weird. I've never seen them do that before. Alright, let's close all these doors. Keep our air in here. That engineer should be able to actually kill them no problem by himself. And this should be actually okay for a way to finish off this fight. And he's gonna die now. He did teleport back. How did you teleport back? You have no health. You have one health. Pomeroy, one health. Alright, there's a dead mantis in there. They're healing up again. Don't you dare come back. Don't you dare come back. You're not welcome here. You're gonna die. And then you're dead. Alright. The ship explodes, leaving behind one missile, one drone part, and 47 scrap. I'll take 47 scrap. Thank you very much. That's 296 scrap. An absolutely absurd amount of scrap to be keeping on me, so I'm going to spend it. Ba-da bow. Done. Level 4 shields unlocked. Thank you kindly. I may have to buy another energy bar for that. No, I think I'm good. I'm good. Very nice. Now we are really hard to kill with traditional weaponry. Missiles will still ruin our day, though, unfortunately. Let's repair. Fix up that damage. It's all you, engineer. I guess I should get someone else in there to get credit as well, but... Yeah, whatever. Whatever. He's just so fast at it. Let's get him in there to heal up. Everyone else has full health, I believe. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Get back in the oxygen room. That's where I want you to be. Alright, fantastic. Let's jump onwards. We actually have enough time to do some other stuff here, too. That's pretty cool. We go one, two, three, four, maybe even four, five. Let's jump down here and see what's on this spot. Hello. What have you to say? An NG vessel hails you. Identity? Federation? Outlier probability. Implies revival. Implies hope. Assistance suggested. They offer some supplies. Fuel 1, drum parts 1, 37 scrap. Thank you very much, folks. Now, if you have an engineer here in your crew, sometimes you get a blue text option with them that just give you more free stuff, or like a weapon or something, like a crew. That can be pretty cool. But uh, no no luck this time. We have our NG crew, but it didn't seem to give us the option. There are a lot of NG dialogues that only sometimes show up, it seems. I don't really know what determines whether they do or don't. Let's jump to the distress beacon now and see what's over here. Well, hello there. Oh! This is the same thing as last time, a smoldering NG research station. And we can scan them and see what goes on. Run another scan. <laughs> Scans reveal the sector's reactor is overloading. Not only that, but an injured, injured NG and a functioning drone schematic are still on board. There's not time for both. Now what do we save this time? The NG or the drone schematic? I guess it's always better to have more crew. You can fix things faster. Sure, save the engineer. Bow! Your team heads straight to the NG, just like last time, and they rescue them, just like last time, and we save them, and they join us, and we get 26 scrap, just like last time. <laughs> awesome, alright. So now we have Brecken. This crew is getting, like, now it's only 50% people who are plagues. Cholera, Ebola, leprosy. We have M, Marcus, and Brecken. Brecken? Really? Your name is Brecken? Nick Brecken. <laughs> what a terrible name for a robot. Especially a terrible name for a robot on a ship named after diseases. Alright. Um, we could probably even go one, two, three here. Let's see if we can do that. That'd be pretty neat. Get the most out of our jumps. Hello there. Oh, I don't need any of that. Small station refitted with hundreds of repair drones, but we don't need any repairs right now, especially not for that cost. It's a pretty good deal, but not when you don't need any. So we're gonna jump out of here. The long way. We arrive. We arrive. We arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? Why, of course we shall. Your ship seems reasonably equipped. A freighter carrying a shipment of my goods is a week late. The fools flew through a pirate-filled sector in their haste, and I fear for the cargo's safety. I'm looking for a less incompetent captain to investigate. Done. At least you're confident for a little that's worth. Here is their last known location. We added a quest marker to the next sector because we're running out of time in this one, honestly. And let's get out of here. Hit that exit up. Maybe I'll actually start buying some missiles and some energy, some fuel soon. We've arrived at the Long Range Beacon, and there's a ship refueling station! What do you know? What a coincidence! Coincidence? Coincidence? We can purchase fuel here. We'll buy six fuel for 12 scrap. Thank you, that's a good deal. And now we'll jump onwards. Uh, jump, jump, jump on. To the first hostile sector we'll be visiting in this game, on the pirate-controlled sector. Let's go! 
Hello, pirates. This somewhat isolated region was thrown into chaos at the start of the rebellion. Even in peacetime, it was always beset by pirates, but now it houses a center of operations for countless pirate fleets. Very nice. Oh, right here. So I've got 107 more scrap and things to spend. What do I want? What am I saving up for now? Um, I don't know. Probably gonna get some more engine power, maybe, or hopefully better weapons, honestly. We need better weapons. We need to get better weapons, we need to equip better weapons, because this thing is... These are all garbage weapons at this point in the game. The artillery beam is what's doing most of the work for us now. We also want to get a stealth system if we can get it, and that should be us pretty well equipped. A couple more weapons on a stealth system. That would be nice. That would be nice. What is he doing for the engines? Not too good yet. We've got level 1 shields, level 2 weapons, level 2 almost piloting. That's pretty good. We've got better bonuses every time we level up, so it's always worth doing. But I think for now, we're going to stop here. Yes. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, piloting you through another episode of Faster Than Light. Now, the plague has been growing unabated for the most part. We'll see if it manages to make it all the way to the heart of the matter. <laughs> ah, yes. Anyway, if you like the video, don't forget to like the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.